Hi guys. Well, we've talked about lines and spaces for both the treble clef staff and for the bass clef staff. And pretty soon we're going to be moving on to sight reading. Well, a big part of sight reading is knowing what key you're in. So are you in C major or F major or B flat major? Well, there's some steps that are going to help us figure out uh, what key you're in. But first, we need to learn the order of sharps and the order of flats because that plays a big part in it. So, when I'm talking about the order of sharps and flats, I always start with the flats because it's easier to memorize. The order of spa uh, flats spells a word. So, flats always go in this order. The flats go B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, C flat, and F flat. So, the flats always go in this particular order. That means that if you are... Um, looking at one flat in the key signature, it has to be a B flat. And if you're looking at two flats in the key signature, it has to be B flat and E flat. If there's three flats in the key signature, it'll go B flat, E flat, and A flat, and so forth. So they have to always go in this order. If you see one flat, it wouldn't be a D flat or a G flat, because it has to start with the B flat and go in that order. So to help me remember that, I think of the word bead, because the first four flats spell B, B flat, E flat, A flat, and D flat. And for the last three, I think of G, C, F, meaning greatest common factor. So when I look at the order of flats, we've got B, greatest common factor. So B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, C flat, and F flat. So always think of that phrase, the B, and then the greatest common factor, and that will help you to remember the order of flats. So, we've talked about the order of flats, and we know that it's bead, greatest common factor, and so now we're going to move on and talk about the order of sharps. So the order of sharps is just backwards of the order of flats. So you just have to think backwards of the order of flats. So remember we started with bead and then greatest common factor. Well, now we're going to go the other direction. So basically it's like factor, common, greatest. You're going the other direction. So... If you, if you wanted to, you could even start at the back and write it backwards. Bead, greatest common factor. And so, to remember the order of sharps, think of the order of flats, and then do it backwards, and you'll get it right every time.